This video will be about de Kerouin's tenosynovitis, also known as de Kerouin's disease. We will also look into a specific test for this condition called the Finkelstein's test. First of all, when should you suspect that a patient suffers from de Kerouin's disease? The patient will come to you and tell you, Hey doctor, my wrist hurts a lot. There are a lot of important questions you can and should ask, but some of the really important ones are, have you suffered any trauma recently? Like have you fallen and used your hand to take the fall or hit your hand against something? Depending on whether a patient answers yes or no, you should first consider a fracture or distortion if he says yes. And if he says no, you should think of another cause except fracture or distortions. A second important question after that would be, can you show me where it hurts the most? When a patient shows you the hand and points to somewhere inside the red circle, then you should suspect decoyance disease as a part of your differential diagnosis. The pain can also radiate outside this area, typically up the forearm, but the most intense area of pain is on the radial side of the hand, around the base of the thumb. If we look at what decoyance actually is, we will have to know what structures inside the hand that is involved. The important structures involved are as follows. The extensor pollicis brevis muscle and its tendon. The abductor pollicis longus muscle and its tendon. And also the tendon sheath covering the tendons. Typically, a long time of overuse will irritate the tendons and the sheaths, causing swelling and thickening. This is the route to all the symptoms, and it can develop both acutely and over a longer time. And now to the Finkelstein's test. This is a specific test used to diagnose de Kerouin's tenosynovitis. The first thing to do is to make a patient make a fist. While making the fist, the thumb should be held inside the fist, as indicated here. If we then look at the important structures inside the hand, the tendons will lie in a position like shown here. After making the fist, with the thumb held inside the fist, the next step will be to grab the hand and adduct the wrist. Adduct as in moving the wrist in this direction. This will cause the tendons of the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis to be stretched out. If this stretching causes pain in the general area shown here, then we have a positive Finkelstein's test. A positive Finkelstein's test and the typical symptoms is sufficient to diagnose de Kerouin's tenosynovitis. Thank you for watching. I hope it has been educational. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Cheers.